The Minnesota Timberwolves are now down in the series versus the Dallas Mavericks. They failed last night. Now they are down 0-2 after Ant-Man called them out. Are the Wolves in trouble, though? Y'all already know we're going to talk about it and break it down right after this. Thank you for tuning in to the number one place for your basketball fix, NBA Central, hosted by the Cognac Boys. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of NBA Central. You got me, Bobby. I'm with C-Dub and Steve-O today. If you're tuned in with us today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Gentlemen, the Minnesota Timberwolves are down. They lost They lost again on their home court in this series. C-Dub, you know I got to come to you first. Are mm. the Wolves in trouble? All the Wolves in trouble, and I absolutely love this team, the uh, Minnesota Wolves. I like what they made of. I like the way that they play. I like the coaching staff. I like everything about the, the Minnesota Timberwolves. But right now, when if I, if you was to gauge this on a meter with being a, a national disaster, being the highest it can be, I think this is like a tornado warning right here. This is like a, in somewhere in the middle. It's like a tornado warning that ain't it ain't a tornado might not even happen so it's just a warning uh we got some matchups that we got out there that that we need to think about and i think this game three is going to be about an overhaul of adjustments for the minnesota timberwolves because i think the way that they plan right now is they uh plan without with their hands time behind their back bro i think they killing themselves and they think that it's helping them, but it's actually helping the Dallas Mavericks. I think first you need to start with uh, Anthony Edwards, and we need to get him off Kyrie. I don't give a damn if he called them out before the series or whatever it is. It's just not working. Uh, we need him on the offensive end and uh, when it counts, especially at the end of the game. They packing the paint. Uh, uh, I think Steve O's going to talk about, about that a little bit more in a minute. But – we got to give this guy a rest. So if you want to put him on him for the spurts at a time, like on Kyrie, like play him five minutes at the end of five minutes in the, in the second quarter. Go ahead. You could you go guard Kyrie like that. But I don't want him playing 30 minutes uh, guarding uh, Kyrie Irving or 35 minutes. And two, <clears throat> we got to figure out this pick and roll, bro. We get too many easy dunks. I know they didn't get these many dunks. I'm talking about the Dallas Mavericks against the OKC Thunder. And they have, a, I think, a less defensive, a less bigger team. They only had Chet back there. So I don't understand how they're getting these many uh, uh, open dunks in front of the baskets off the pick and roll. And I need – they're going to have to make a decision about the minutes with Mike Conley – and bringing in Alexander for defensive and offensive purposes. I think you need Mike Conley, uh, but I think you need to put more minutes into Alexander and having a big team out there to guard these big physical guys the Dallas Mavericks got, besides Kyrie. Even though I think he's physical as well, the way he plays when he really starts attacking you, he can play a little physical. So I think this this game, this, I'm, not, I'm not panicking, nephew and Steve-O. I'm not panicking. Uh, Minnesota has been through a lot of wars. I just think game three is going to be a game of big time adjustments. It's going to be, it's, you need a lot of adjustments. <clears throat> For sure, Steve-O. Well, you said it's a tornado warning. I'm going to say that tornado has touched down. But okay. the key thing is the tornado is about 10 miles away. Okay. That's the only difference. <laughs> no, but um, they need to get, they, but the, the difference is they starting, they need to get in that fetal position, get against the blockers. Close the windows, find somewhere to hide because hey, they ain't looking too good, especially when in Dallas is not even playing their best basketball. I mean, coming from the first game, they only made six threes and they still came out and won the game. That's scary. That's real scary. Um, like you said, the pick and roll, they gotta fix that. That's probably their main defensive issue. Right now, is they cannot stop any lobs that go up between Gafford and between uh, Lively. They catching them and they finishing every time. They need to find a way to stop that. Um, a lot of they need to go a little bit deeper in their bench. Last few games, they only been going three deep. Mm -hmm. I believe Dallas is going like five to six Bro, deep and on their they, bench. They playing so, and the difference is like Dallas didn't have the long series. I think prior that you did. 
Maybe mm-hmm. they did. They did go seven, they but it didn't six. feel it was. It was. They went six. You got an extra game, and y'all was way more physical against Denver Nuggets. So, especially Ant, Ant looked like he hitting that wall. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, he can no longer play thirty minutes of offense and defense. No longer. No. So yeah, it is time that you find a proper way to put Alexander in times where he needs to guard some of the premier player, and it has to be in the second half because. The the common denominator with this team, with both teams, is Minnesota is, for the most part, starting off strong. Um, for the first half, they was up ten at some points, but this is a team you cannot let hang. And the last two games, they let Denver hang in games. And when you have two of the most dominant closers in this games today, with and Luca and Kyrie, that's how you end. That's how both of them games end. So when there's a, a tight game situation, I'm gonna be I'm looking like the Mavs gonna finish it because of who they got on their team. So there's a lot of things they need to fix up on the defensive side. Um reach into that depth, reach into that bench a little bit more. You need some more contribution out of that. But um yeah, yeah. and girl bear, play like a goddamn top defensive player of the year because he ain't no. for real. Yeah. I like I like what both of you guys said, even the analogies. That, that, that tornado is definitely 10 miles away, for sure. And it's definitely a warning. Take cover, for sure. Because I'm looking at it like this. Y'all lost on your home court. It's not the end of the world, but game three is a must win. You must win that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to win that game and somehow figure out how to win game four. But right now, you got to focus on one game at a time. And I'm with both of you guys. I don't think Anthony Edwards, uh, I respect him. And I I, I told C-Dub offline, he's one of my favorite players in the league right now. Nice. But you ain't guarding Kyrie into the fourth quarter if I'm the coach. Mm-hmm. If, if, if you somehow end up on him during the game, cool. But your assignment is going to be preserving that energy. Because in game one after that, you said you was gassed. And that's because you're chasing this motherfucker around. Jamal mm-hmm. Murray didn't have you ain't have to chase him around, but mm-hmm. Jamal Murray is not Kyrie Irving. This is a different beast. You got to be able to pres- preserve that energy. So if I'm the head coach, my my just for Aunt Edwards is we need all the offensive punch that you can give early on. If you want to lock in on Kyrie Irving the last f- seven minutes of the fourth quarter, cool, I can deal with that. But until then, I'm, I'm going with what C Dub said. Alexander, Mike Conley, y'all gonna have to figure out Mike Conley. <laughs> y'all yeah. gonna have to figure that shit out because we need this young pup right here. But I gotta call out one of the big guys for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns. Why are you averaging 14 points at home? Mm. Why? Mm-hmm. The, I, go for 16. I, 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 I don't understand it. You at home on the road, you average 25. 20 is like over 20 points on the road. Why you ain't doing it at home? You gotta well, you gotta defense, rise to the occasion, bro. I'm about to say in his defense, this team is weird because they're a way better road team than a home team, which is weird. So weird. It, it's all of them, like all of them play weird. Like the only person that rose, especially last game, the only person that rose up to the occasion was Nas. Nas Reed had a hell of a game. He was so pulling much energy, bro. Yes, He's pulling that fajita, but like you said, I think it's it's too many things. It's slight, it's slight adjustments that them as a player need to fix, and that the coach need to fix. Going back to Ant, they it might seem like that hole being closing it up, but to be honest, you're causing it to close up because you're calling for that screen way too much. We yeah, understand that you got one of the most knockdown mid range uh, pull up jumpers. We know that. But we also know that you can get to the line in, or get to the lane anytime you want. Yeah. Right. That's when they when you get to the lane and then they close up, that's gonna open up that mid range. But if you just sit here calling for that mid range every single time, it's come it's very predictable. So now now they can switch and just meet you on the other side. So it makes seem like they got a crowd and you gotta make that next pass. And yeah, other people gotta make that shot, but I think you you're setting yourself up to you're not playing your game because you're allowing them to dictate what you want to do. Exactly. And I think uh, on that point, Steve, he got to figure out how he want to distribute his energy. I think that he called a lot of some of those pick and rolls because he was just gassed and it take more. To, oh, he was definitely it, tired. Yeah. It take more to get past your man without a pick. You know what I'm saying? You're going to exert more energy trying to blow by one person besides mm-hmm. getting the pick. So that's why I say we need to 
conserve his energy and get this man off Kyrie Irving. Forget your pride. Forget all of that. You a young man. You still got years to come. You gotta, you gotta learn how to conserve your energy out here. And when you and I want to get on call Anthony Towns, and you can also add, add Anthony Edwards. They're two guys when a game is on the line, they came and they produced and they performed the last two games. Did the last I think Anthony Edwards, he he got to the free throw line last game. He did okay. You know, he did at his minimal, very good. He scored four in those last uh final couple minutes but the minnesota temple wolves need their superstars to match the others even if they can't go out there and get numbers because those are that may be the best um pair of superstars in the national basketball association right there so you got to do your best you, your big guns got to come out and play or you really ain't got a chance and even though you are up to 18 literally luca and Kyrie brought them all the way back it was just literally. them two so you're going to have to match him. So that's distinguished on your defensive matchups, Mr. Coach Finch. And 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 how are you going to uh, use Anthony Edwards when he comes to the other side? Are you going to be running a lot of pick and rolls or are you going to let him attack off the ISO? So, yeah, I, I agree with you too, Steve. And that's yeah. another thing that tweaked me out with this thing, especially on the coaching side. Like, everybody knows, for the most part, Kyrie coming out in the second half is blazing. Yes. He's been doing that the, the whole playoffs. Yep. Yep. So, like, I don't even know why they didn't prepare. And like, for both games, they didn't prepare for that. And they yep. bit them. So, like, you, you got to, as a coach, you got to realize that you got to pay attention to tendencies. Yeah. Yeah. Not, and to, I was going to uh, hit on your point when you talked about um Anthony Edwards with his pick and roll. I mean, the pick and roll, he can use it to his advantage, kind of like he did in Denver. Because he – it, but – it ain't been effective as it was when they went against Denver simply because that corner three that was available all series versus Denver, it ain't been available. <laughs> or the guys are just not knocking it down. McDaniels was damn near automatic from the corner three. They need to some they need to some way, somehow figure out how to get that corner three available to him and the others. And they got to rise to the occasion because that I, I think that that can be one of the things that helps in those late game situations and uh, preserving his energy when it comes hey, I, to uh, Ant Edwards. I got a proposal, bro. Why don't we put McDaniels on on Kyrie? And and I like this matchup right here. Anthony Edwards on Luca because Anthony Edwards is an ex football player. It ain't, he ain't going to be running after him. You know what I'm saying? Luca might he still go get off, but I think that's a better matchup than Kyrie with, with Anthony. I agree. Edwards because yeah. his stature. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, gonna, because yeah, with McDaniels with his left, he could cut um he could cut Kyrie off. Yeah. And he could stop him from trying to run everywhere he wants. And he could draw a lot of off-ball fouls with that. So yeah. yeah, I agree with you. Like you're not gonna he's you're gonna work, but you're not gonna use all your energy trying to guard Luca. Because yeah. you either know he's going north or south. Yeah, that's how you know he's gonna work. Yeah, I, Ky Kyrie, you don't know where the hell he's gonna go. He's very <laughs> active. If you go, if yeah. you slide to the right, he's going left. If you slide to the left, he's going right. And even if then he might go under, he he weird. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I think that's a great proposal though, because Luka Doncic ain't moving around that much. Yeah, to be I think keeping he got it a buck on defense. Yeah, yeah, he he battling those injuries. He is not gonna sit there and run around like a Kyrie Irving. So I think that would be a great proposal. Somebody send this over to uh, Coach Finch because <laughs> he <laughs> need this. He need oh, he this. Know, he should know, especially waking up today and watch the tape. He should definitely know. Like, okay, like, that's enough. That's it's enough. enough. <laughs> it ain't working. Like, and you <laughs> respect Ant for the call. You, look, I respect yeah, the hell out yeah, of Ant. Yeah. But, right, the, the, you can still get Kyrie, just not for the first three quarters. <laughs> Don't and bro, it's like, for the and first, your quarters, first real trying. deep run. Yeah. Like you're going to hit a wall, and you hitting that wall right now. He is. Yeah. So you got to be real. Like, like somebody got pull all y'all to side. Like I understand y'all ain't like that's the that's why. It, it ain't. I mean, Rudy is that vet, but he ain't that vet that been through it. So mm -hmm. I, there's really maybe Mike Conley's the only person maybe. that been deep into yeah. it. So Mike Conley got sitting there like, hey y'all, I get it. This is our first real deep run, especially a lot of you young dudes. But y'all got to find a way to preserve your energy and play way more smarter because Dallas been in these situations before. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and I got two things, man. Uh, first off, uh, Rudy Gobert is having one 
bad. Like he like his postseason ain't been that good, bro. Like, mm-hmm. he, like he's been getting exposed a lot. But mm-hmm. Anthony Edwards, and it's important for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I don't like his nomenclature, bro. I don't like we don't see that uh Anthony Edwards that we seen against Phoenix that talking to KD and and we don't see the against uh Jamal Murray clapping him Jamal Murray face because he exerting so much energy he you know don't even saying? got he ain't got time to be that that boastful swag field player and his team they feed off that Steve O yes they feed off that and they looking at him and he over there like that they motherfucker like, give me what oxygen at? they said what he at? was in the tunnel getting <laughs> oxygen bro yeah like what and at bro they feed off that shit bro they need Ant Edwards back bro they need Ant Man back bro and yeah, I mean, it, it's hard <laughs> like that's once again it's hard to talk when you trying to inhale <laughs> <can't breathe>. <laughs> <laughs> like he out there he legit can't breathe so like Hold it is what it is but like I mean you gotta find a way you gotta yeah, find bro. a way you gotta find another game within yourself because you're gonna get tired like you still got another round to go if you're gonna yeah, make it. right, if you're trying to so, compete, you yeah, gotta, so it's gotta time that you, you gotta right. find that next gear. And I don't know where it's at, I don't know where you're gonna find it at, but that's where the greats gotta find it. So if you want to be that nice. great, like you say, you want to be, you gotta find that extra gear. Yeah, they yeah, got another round this. with Boston to go. Yeah, I still <laughs> I think see we this just being a six, seven game series before we go. I do. Yeah, but they're they great, for, they are great. It ain't good for whoever, whoever in this series is not good. To be go seven, mm. depending on how Boston, Boston. goes in there. Oh, they oh, they sweeping, they sweeping. Tyree, Tyree, he hurt. They, you know, they they yeah. not winning the game, game. Yeah, and they, they gonna not. be fresh. They gonna be fresh. No, yeah, wait, that's what I'm saying. They probably go Boston, five. Though. Yeah, I said they probably go five games. This man. Boston, yeah, they going five at the at the, at the <laughs> <host>. me. <laughs> you know how Boston is. They just yeah, they have a break. They don't tweak one game. Yeah, right. they that's Next. what they do. Probably this game tonight, <laughs> but uh, y'all got anything left? <laughs> hey man, come on, T Wolves, bro, don't do that to me, bro. Y'all, can, y'all think y'all the better team? I think T Wolves a better team. They just got two of the best stars. If you go one, two, three, say Luca, Kyrie, and then Aunt Edwards. So yeah, they, 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 they you right. They got the best yeah. team. The problem is yeah. they just got two dragons that been through everything, <laughs> and they know how to finish games. Yep. yep. But, hey, that's it from us today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button and and subscribe on your way out. We're going to catch y'all on the next one for sure. This has been a presentation of The Breaks Breaks Media. Media.